Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the case when you could use asymmetric keys for the data encryption and decryption. The, the asymmetric keys consist of two keys, private and public keys. Private key is private only to the owner and the public key is available to everyone or the rest of the world. So let's discuss how the encryption works in such a case. So in this diagram, there is two parties. So one is the owner and out one, another one is the outside owner. So the owner only knows the private key and public key and the outside user knows only the public key. So in this case, uh, the data is publicly available and the, uh, the party outside world takes the data and he encrypts the data with the uh, key pair of public key and he will get the encrypted data. So this encrypted data he is sending via internet and the only the owner who is having access to the public key, sorry, the private key is able to decrypt the data. So and that means that these encrypted data may be decrypted only by the owner of this key pair. So nobody else could decrypt the data. And if the data is successfully sent to the owner and the owner of the private and public key, the owner could decrypt the data using the private key. And that's how the encryption and decryption is used in asymmetric keys world. We could compare this process of encryption and decryption using asymmetric key with a simple example of sending an email. For example, anyone in the world may know my email address and anybody could send an email to me. But only I have the access to my mailbox, I suppose, and only I am able to get the info from the mailbox and read it there. And there is a pretty similar to this process. So only owner of the private key could read the data and could decrypt the data and read success on this data. This is how the symmetric key could be used in data encryption and decryption. Yeah, next lecture we will see further more in the security topics.